in a juvie hall in April 1983. Billy Joe was beautiful, all dirty, blonde, and tattered jeans. We were dumb and perfect, just a greasy pair of Indians, dreaming of the lives we had to lead. We stayed in a halfway house in August when we got released. Ten when all the lights went out, I spent the night beneath his wings. Hold him till the morning came, he'd hold me till he fell asleep. Wake up cradled in each other's arms. We loved life and outlaws, I and each other more than anything. But neither of us thought we could. Neither of us could believe that every love is different than the one before. Some say it'll die, some say they'll become the Texas too. Yet he was the muscle and the heart behind the enterprise. Made the plan the night before my head against his sleeping thigh. He took out the rental car, but when we heard the siren ring, we ran without a dollar to our name. We went to a motel in the next town with a case of beer. Hit out shooting Polaroids, him mugging in the bathroom mirror. Stayed up reading newspapers, just coming through the crime reports for any mention of the Texas too. Nothing much in my life ever made much sense. Loving guns and violence were all I ever really knew of happiness. But neither of us wanted to grow old like this. But living life together was the only thing we need. We stayed in that hot hallway several days just waiting for the heat to pass until I heard a knock upon the motel door. Voice outside assured us that they had the place surrounded and to lay down and surrender to the law. As I heard the door break in, I froze and looked in Billy's eyes. All I saw was love and fear And lips slowly began to smile Taking out her pistol He just started shooting everywhere It was the first and last stand of the Texas too. Bleeding on the floor I thought that nothing much had really changed I was still a coward And my building was still dumb and brave as I slowly drifted off, I reached for him, held his hand, watched the fire die behind his eyes. 